Welcome Extreme Home Arcade owners. This is a tutorial video on how to set up your controllers in MAME. So from the main folder, I'm gonna go to Arcade Classics. I hit my player one. From here, I'm gonna hit my player one coin. And then I'm gonna go down to open MAME on the right. Now from here, I'm going to use my trackball and my mouse clicks. I'm going to go configure options, general inputs, and then I'm going to go down to player one. I'm going to hit my player one button, and then it's going to bring up a menu like this. Now from here is where I can go in and I can program my controls, my buttons, my joysticks, Tron stick, spinner. Uh, if you want to add an Xbox controller, we can do that as well. So just to kind of give you a general idea how to do things in here, uh, you can go up and down using your player one joystick. Um, so for instance, um, player you know player one up. So I'm gonna hit my player one button and say I have an Xbox controller and I wanna use that maybe for this. this. Well, this is gonna do general inputs actually. So this is gonna be like general for all your general inputs in MAME for all the arcade classic games. Um, so from here, I can hit up and now it just programmed my joystick or my Xbox controller in here. And say, you know, I don't want that or I want to wipe it out or clean it out. Um, we can go down and back up and hit player one. And now I can just hit player one up on my joystick and that's going to bring that input back up. So I can go in here and like I said, I can do down, left, right. I mean, you can go in and map that how you like. For your buttons as well, button one, you know, one through eight, you can do that on here. Most of this should already be set up for you when you get your system, but like in, for some reason you wanna go in and change it, you can do that. Um, so that's that. And then from here, if I just go up, is the quickest way to get you back around to the bottom. And then from here, you can set up your trackball. Here's your light gun stuff. Um, AD stick is usually gonna be your Tron stick. So AD, Y, you're gonna hit your play, player one button and then you're gonna go up on your Tron stick and then X is left to right on your Tron stick. Um, but I have a spinner on this machine, so I just go to dial and typically I just do dial analog and the dial V analog. You're gonna hit your player one button and then left to right on your spinner and now that program that in. And I can do that for this as well, player one button and then left to right. Um, I mean, you can also add, so say, like, we'll go back up to up again. So say I didn't want to totally wipe that out and I just want to add an input. I go left on my player one joystick and then it will say down here, you can press one to append. So now it's saying I can append, which is basically I'm just adding. So now if I hit my player one, now I can add. So now I can add up. And I just used my Xbox controller and added up. Let's see if you don't like that, again, you can go down up. Otherwise, I believe you can hit your player one and then you'll hit your shift and player two. And then if you do that one more time, that should bring you back to that input that you had originally. Um, but I'll go down up. So that's how we can get in there and do that. Um, and you can go back and you can do player two, three, four. Um, you can get in and set up, you know, your controllers how you like there as well. Um, but from here now, if you wanna get back out and save everything, shift player two or player one, player two. And now I'm just gonna go down to save configuration. So that's gonna save all the inputs that I just inputted. That's general inputs. So that's like for general inputs for all the games. Um, but say, um, I can show you here too. So I'm gonna go back out. I'm just gonna go into Street Fighter just to check to make sure everything's working. So I'm gonna hit my player one to enter. It's gonna start the game up. Now say I wanna set up um, inputs for just this game. So I'm gonna do my shift or my player one button and to the right. And once you do that, that's gonna bring up this little menu. So again, you see input general, that's where like all your general inputs are gonna be. But if you go input this machine, it's gonna be just for this game. So say I just want this game, 
can go in here and now I can go and say I just want my controller added to this game. So now I can go in here and add up and I can just add my controls to this with an Xbox controller, which is cool. So left and I'll just do right quick. And I'll shift player two, shift player two again. And now that gets me still back into the game is working. And now you can see, I just programmed that so my Xbox controller is working. And as well, if you see here, I can use joystick as well because I added Xbox controller in. So it's kind of a cool function. So you can get in there and do that how you like. And then you're ready to have fun.